Okay, this is Rocky Hall. It's July 2017th and we're in the Burns, Oregon area and this is Tom Davis. And go ahead, Tom, with whatever it is that you want to say today. Howdy folks, how y'all doing? Well, it's a mighty warm day today here in Harney County. Um, we have seen a lot of excitement over the last year and a half. I've made friends, I've lost friends. I've seen a lot of hatred. I've seen a lot of vitriol towards our president. May I say to my commander in chief, one of the greatest commanders in chief we had, President Donald J. Trump, I will stand beside you, I will stand with you, I will be there when you need me. Gavin Sines, you have went after and called our president some vitriol names because he sent federal agents in to take over and get control of Southside Chicago. Gavin, I ask you this one time. Take your fancy van, your fancy motorhome, your fancy equipment and go live in the black section of Chicago where M13 and gangs of the Bloods and Crips are running rampant and killing children, killing the elderly. There was 2,000 people shot in Chicago this year from January to July. Seven months, 2,000 people shot. Gavin, are you man enough to go and stand and say this is a safe community? You put out comments about their Trump's a terrorist because he sends his, he's overreaching his power. No, he's not. He's trying to control a situation that is killing Americans. Gavin, you are a phony, a fraud, a fake, an agitator. You have not the common decency to be spit on my shoes. You are lowlife and all you people that follow him like sheep, you are being led to slaughter. Gavin, you make your money off of hatred. You make your fame off of hatred. You are no better than the demons that follow Satan wherever he goes. You might say you're religious. You might preach and pray and everything and say you are a believer in Christ. You are a fraud. You are no better than the demons that spew from the earth to take over mankind. With that victory all, you have, and the following you have, you are the legions. The legions that's preached against in the Bible. So it's time to stop. And de stop and stop this whole nonsense. Our president is doing the best job he can under the circumstances he's got. He's got the liberal means, mainstream media of CNN and the fake acolytes of propagandists for the socialist pro progressive party that is constantly, constantly creating some new lie, some new fake intelligence that they got. And they've never been able to prove one god dang anola of evidence against Donald Trump. I believe in Poland and the people of Poland. Thank God for Poland. And the way you stood and showed the respect for an American president when the Americans themselves will not even show that type of support for our own president. Gavin, you are no better than the socialist. You are no better than Hillary Clinton, George Soros, and the evil pedophiles they are. You run in that type of category. Is that something to be proud of? that you support that type of mentality. I stand with my commander-in-chief. I will stand with him through thick and thin. I will stand with him no matter what it takes to defeat the evil that is running rampant throughout this nation. Yeah, we have political prisoners in jail. They in prison. They were put in prison not by Donald Trump, not by the good. They were put in jail by the evil, the evil that's running rampant. 
they were put in by tyrants like Obama that has broken so many federal laws that he should be sent in prison by the likes of Hillary Clinton that has profited from the pain that she has instilled in mankind. They are in prison by the Bureau of Land Management that is run by the likes of Harry Reid and Rory Reid, his son, that profits from their evil. It is not Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the sole man. One man, that's all he is. To give him the strength, we all must stand with him as we stand with God to defeat evil. If we sway and ridicule and cut, we are pulling away from the army of good into the army of evil. So Gavin, it's time for you to stop. Time for you to go on, to get a job, become a hard working American, to pay your taxes, to do as rest of us by living off the sweat of your brow, not off of everybody else's sweat like the politician you are. You belong to cows. You take order from a political organization called cows which is run by politicians. And, yeah, you will sit there and say anti-government crap. What does COW stand for? C-O-W. Confet, um, um, I forgot. <laughs> Consolidations of Western States. And that. And it, came, it originally came out of a good cause called Sage Rush Rebellion. There's a good man, Hag, that's fighting for the rights under the true Sage Rush Rebellion. Cali became a political organization that was overtaken by politicians. The same politicians that Gavin works for, that he derides and calls names as fascists and terrorists and tyrannical government. There's corruption no matter where you go. You can go into any household, you'll find some form of corruption. The only way we can stop it is each one of us must stand together and stand up against the corruption. I am for the removing the corruption from within our government. I am not anti-government, I'm anti-corruption. I believe exactly what Lavoie preached and what Lavoie talked about the day we was sitting in the refuge headquarters. Ammon, I am afraid that all these people using your name to throw out slander against the police force and against the government is going to hurt you in the long run. That Gavin cannot make money if you are a free man walking upon the face of the earth as a free man. You must remove yourself from those type of people that spews hatred. For that is not the way of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. As you read through Latter-day Saints, Book of Mormons, you will see many times men got full of themselves and thought they were leaders and righteous and they've taken the people of God down by their pridefulness, their lust for power, their lust of the soul, of the body. And Ammon, you must remove yourself from these people. I say this as a friend of yours who shook your hand, who stood beside you. As somebody who's talked to you eye to eye, face to face. I ask that you and Ryan will be true men of the gospel and stand for the right of all. I have gone out of my way to help you guys. I have taken a lot of responsibility upon my shoulders to help you because I believe in what you are saying. I too am against uh, tyrannical power grabbing of the corruption within the federal government. I am friends with Stephen Dwight. Dwight has done a lot to help me out. I have shook hands with Dwight. I have laughed with Dwight. And same with Steve. But through 
this vitriol that certain people amongst us are spewing of hatred for our law enforcement, our veterans, and worst of all, our President of the United States is going to do nothing but harm you. I'd like to say that all this stuff that's being spewed by Kelly Stewart and Gavin Symes against the the president against cops and everything else if you're the president would you pardon any of these political prisoners when you're being spoke at like this spoken to like this it's amazing that we are coming upon a great opportunity of people meet with the president of the united states and within a week of the, that supposedly meeting gavin comes out with anti-trump propaganda he was quiet before then that goes to show me, it's exactly as I'm saying. He does not make money if the Bundys are free. President Trump, I beg of you to look into this. Look into unconstitutional acts that's being perpetrated in our courts by our judges, by the prosecutors, by the U.S. Attorney's Office. We have seen it with your travel ban. We have seen the illegal activity of these so-called federal judges. It's time we put a halt to this. It is time we eliminate lifetime guarantee for a job for federal judges. It's time we put term limits on how long they can sustain their power so they do not become powerful individuals that create corrupt laws for us to have to follow. To the Congress and Senate, grow the hell up. You act like school kids on a playground. You victory, bitterness, bickering crap has got to cease. You represent the American people. The American people have spoken. We have put a great man into office. Stand by him. To you, Pelosi. To you, Schumer to the senator congressman out of LA and that that is always talking impeachment what phonies you are each one of you have corruption in your background the Democratic Party is the most corrupt party there ever been in the nation they have shown through their actions through their intentions of corruption of overtaking the American people and making us servants of the government. It's time to remove Maxine Waters and the works that likes out of government. It's time to impeach Congress, impeach Senate. It's time to say goodbye, you are the payroll. You have more vacation time than a child in school does. You are constantly on vacations instead of you doing your damn job. When you come to the office, all you do is sit there and you argue and bicker with each other, point fingers, get on the cameras, you run like a bunch of prima donnas in front of a camera. Come on, people, grow up. Become the correct, true, constitutional, abiding of citizens, the servants of the United States people. Time for you to become men and women of the people not men and women of a democratic or republican party and to you anti-trump politicians john mccain you are evil the stuff you have done to hurt this country is unreal lindsey graham your rude comments about the president show some balls man get a life you stand for the people. We have put Donald Trump in. You stand behind the people of the United States. And to Antifa and to Black Lives Matters, I'm not afraid of you. I am not afraid of you cowards that hide behind black masks, that march up and down the street like a bunch of hogs headed to market. You are being played for the fools you are. You claim you're college educated? My God, if that's college education, I'd soon be a kindergarten dropout to be a, that type of educated idiot. You have become nothing but puppets. Puppets to elite billionaires 
that you say you despise? The Liberal Socialist Democratic Party are the biggest worshippers of money and elitism that there is. Why would it? Somebody that says, I am of the people, like Hillary Clinton, I am for the middle class, the working man. Why is it that she is a multi-millionaire, that she has done corruption, sold the secrets of the United States to our enemies, sold uranium to Russia, so they could build bombs, bombs to destroy us? And yet, people of the United States support this type of corruption? And you even voted for this fool to be the president? Hillary Clinton is criminal, corrupt, evil. She is a personification of Satan's wife. There's more murders been committed under her by of people that was coming to testify against her a week to two weeks before the trial. Fact. Look it up. Benghazi was a cover-up. They said it was a video. No, it was a cover-up between Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton to profit themselves from selling the arms out of Libya after they killed Gaddafi to ISIS. ISIS is Barack Obama's created army of Muslim fanaticals out to destroy the world and push upon us Sharia law, to push upon us the pedophilia that they believe in, the abuse of children. This is a religion of peace that Obama so eloquently talks about. Well, do you people want to know where I live? I live in Harney County. Ask anybody, they know where I live. I'm, I'm not scared of you guys. I stand as an American. I stand with my commander-in-chief. And I will die as an American. I will die to protect our commander-in-chief. So be it warned. President Trump is the greatest president we ever have, and he will be known in history as that. So either you stand with America or you stand apart. If you stand apart, then you will be crushed by the greatness of America. So be it, as it is written, as it will be. Y'all have a good day. God bless you. Amen.